Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the 2 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow is down 230 at 33,800. Uh, very interesting because 34,082 was the high, so we've extended this leg up. I'm calling it a leg, dear, for those of you new to my work. I'll go through that when we do the, the next hour, this hour coming up. And... Um, Thank you, Tommy, for doing the uh, hour that Larry wasn't available. We're looking at the S&P. S&P right now down 23 at 41.22. Leg E. This is where we're starting a little bit cautious, but I'll explain why there are some really good positives at this particular time. Uh, let's go to the QQQ. One, two, three. There we go. QQQ, if I can get that right, there we are. QQQ, that's the index 100 Invesco QQQ Trust Series, down 2.5 at 316.80. Now, this is going to be very interesting. It tried to run, it failed to make a new recovery high, and the technicals here are mixed. The 9 is still way above the 14. That's a big positive, but the MACD and Stochastic are weak. Looking at the IWM, and that's going to be very interesting because earlier on it was acting quite well. Now it's down 2.34, 175.82, not looking very good, these small caps. Gold. Gold tried to rally. It almost made a new recovery high from yesterday. Then it slumped. It's down 38. Uh, this is exactly the kind of action you start to see as we're making attempts at rallies without enough strength to be able to hold the position. So we're going to be watching this going into next week. Can gold get to the 2090s or will it slide to the 19? Uh, 30s, and that's going to be the question for me because the dollar is attempting to find some kind of support here right at the 100 level. That's like a double bottom. We'll be watching that closely. I'll talk about that when we get back. We're looking at the uh, United States uh, um, bonds, continuous contract, 30 year, down sharply, down to almost a dollar and a half. So, what we're looking at is yields are running some, and I'll talk about that as well when we get back because you can see this rectangle here. I think yields are just stuck in a range. I don't think that they're, they're going anywhere, really. And then crude oil had a very nice session um, um, two days ago. Yesterday was a little bit weaker, and today it's holding up at uh, 82. A lot to discuss. I'll be back for the hour from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. See you in a few moments. Hold tight, and my service is the opening call daily newsletter. Normally, I do the 10 a.m. Tiger Technician's Alice. The reality is that navigating financial markets